Our owl pick this month is Chris Geyser with PC Solutions, a technology consulting firm. Chris is going to spend a few minutes enlightening us on cloud computing. So the cloud is a system where uh, a company can take all of their servers and applications and have someone out on the internet host it all. Um, it's usually in favor of doing it on premise where you would have your servers in a closet at your office, maybe under a sprinkler head or something like that. Uh, the cloud a lot of times is described as this light fluffy thing, uh, very pleasant when in fact uh, more typically what it is is kind of a slave labor camp for servers. Uh, we'll stack uh, 10, 20 servers on top of one another, uh, work a morning, noon, and night for as long as we can to get the, the most output out of them we possibly can. Um, it usually, because it can be managed a little better in the cloud than it can be on-premise at each company, uh, result in a more reliable computer network experience. But that's not really the reason that people go to the cloud. Um, the cloud can also save them a great deal of money. Um, if you needed an application in the cloud instead of spending $50,000 down or $100,000 to get a new server and all the applications that go along with it, you could, for just tens of dollars a day, have access to those servers up in the cloud where someone, man behind the curtain, will manage it all for you. How does this change IT buyer behavior? Well, in the past, IT buyers would get very good at reducing or discounting off of what the initial investment is to acquire that technology. But a lot of times they ended up sacrificing um, scalability, performance, or reliability of that. Well, in the cloud, you don't really need to think about those things anymore because it might only amount to a different uh, price of a, a dollar a day per user or something like that to discount. So in the future, when IT buyers buy their IT uh, services from the cloud, uh, the success of their decisions won't be measured on how much did it cost and how quick was the ROI on it. Instead, the success will be how easy was that application for the users to use. Um, were we able to grow our company faster? Did we have to add as much headcount in order to grow our company that fast with our application in the cloud? And that's how we'll me uh, measure success.